What is up you guys, this is Spidey1997 and today we're finally going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends series. You got the Build-A-Figure Apocalypse, you got Gladiator, and I, it's an okay figure, that's all I got to say. Um, it's not the best from this wave, um, just because it's basically on the Hyperion body mold. Um, like always, I don't know why Hasbro keeps using this mold, because it's really getting old. Um, it's not my favorite body mold, to be honest, um, but... It's, you know, this is a really decent figure. I'm not saying it's bad, um, but it's not good either. So it's it's it, it, all I can say is it's pretty decent uh, for a character for Gladiator. Um, I, I'm pretty sure some people already had this. Uh, I believe it's the San Diego Comic Con one. I don't know what which year it was, but uh, I know there was it was this was more of a metallic paint. Um, this is more of a uh, um, a darker blue. I think the other one had a more metallic blue, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe a metallic red, if I'm not... You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I think that's what it was. But let's take a look at the packaging like we always do. Um, you got the packaging. You got Marvel's Gladiator X-Men. You got the picture of Gladiator on the side. Same picture. You got the nice um, prototype of the figure. You got the bio. Pause it if you want to read it. You got the whole figure from this wave. I basically got all the characters, so I finally completed the apocalypse. So stay tuned for this build a figure review. Um, I just uh, I finally got Magneto, of course, Gladiator that we're reviewing now, and um, Multiple Man. So stay tuned for these reviews that are coming. So um, right after I review, I'm gonna review um, Magneto or probably a um, Multiple Man, and then Magneto, and then we'll review the build a figure. So yeah. So hope uh, hopefully. Um, the Gladiator, um, one is, um, has some good paint apps, because I've heard people say that this has terrible paint apps, but, uh, hopefully the ones I got, the one I got has a better one. So, back to the figure, so here is the figure itself, and like I said, it's a decent figure, it's not the best, but, uh, it, you know, this will do, because, you know, I don't have a Gladiator in my collection. Now, I will say, on my copy of the figure, the paint apps are terrible, um, as you can see... And I found this guy at Target, but as you can see, there's some red bleeding through the blue, which kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, I can fix that myself, but I don't have to. Uh, it should be, you know, this is a company product of figure, so yeah. So, as you can see on the on the uh, cape, the gold paint chipped off, unfortunately. Um, this side is pretty good, but this one got chipped off. Um, you can look at the back of the cape. The, um, this is some yellow paint. The yellow paint, on, you can't really see it because the camera's not picking it up. But if you saw it in person, it's terrible. But the yellow is really splotchy right here. It's not painted smoothly. It's very uh, uh, rough, I will say. Um, there's no, uh, at least from what I can see, there's no wash on the cape. So, yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer. You can see right there the cape, the yellow is missed right there. And yeah, and the face sculpt, I will say the face sculpt is pretty good. That's the only thing I really like about this figure is the face sculpt. The face sculpt on this figure is absolutely gorgeous. I really like this head sculpt. You can see that you got some nice blue wash on the, I guess the mohawk. I say mohawk. Um, you can see his ears are pointy. His face is purple. His pupils, they're not, you don't see any pupils, just white eyes. There's the black eyebrows with some uh, pieces. It looks pretty pissed see the symbol on his chest the belt is just painted which is kind of lazy to be honest but it's all right here's the back if you want to see the back so this is of course the old, old hyperion body like i always say um the articulation um i'll just show you for the heck of it but uh, the arms can go out this far which is good down not so much has a bicep swivel double jointed elbows wrist swivel that goes the hinge that goes up and down Head can look side to side, can look down all the way, can look up. He can have, you know, he can do this if you want. His head is on, uh, you know, can tilt side to side. Ab crunch goes forward that far, back that far, which is pretty good. And you can see there's some blue paint right there. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I can scrape that off. No, might have to scrape that off later after this review. But Ab crunch goes that forward that far, back that far, which is good. Waist swivel, legs can go out this far, which is pretty good to be honest. Uh, that's that's actually pretty good. I don't know why I can't do that on Spider-Man figures, um, but uh, yeah, legs can go up that far. He can kick that far. 
Back, not so much. Five swivel, double jointed knees. You got a boot swivel. Feet can go down, up, and he does have the ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom on the feet. So yeah. So um, and another thing, and you know what's funny too? Uh, he doesn't really come with any accessories. The only accessories that he comes with is the uh, build a figure uh, apocalypse. Um, um, I think he comes with the head of the apocalypse. As you can see, this is the head. And I gotta say, this is a really great head sculpt uh, for the apocalypse. I'm really, really liking this one. So I already completed the build a figure, of course. Um, so he did come with the head. So. Stay tuned for that. We'll review the the, the build figure uh, on its own review. So, do I recommend this figure? Um, if you guys don't have a gladiator fi uh, figure in your collection, then I suggest you get this guy. Now, if you really don't care about this character and you only get characters that you know, then I suggest you just pass on this figure. But overall, I really like this figure. Um, you know, it's not the best. It's not great. It's not uh, bad, but it you know it is what it is. So it, this is a really decent figure, and I'm still really happy that I have this one because I really wanted a, you know, I kind of wanted a gladiator in my collection. So really stoked to finally have a gladiator in the collection. Um, and please let me know about this character. Um, I'm to be honest, I don't know the history of this character, so I really do apologize about that. Um, I, I was gonna put him on my superhero on my hero shelf. But I, because I have a villain shelf and a hero shelf, so is he a villain or a hero or is he both? So please comment down below if you if you know what he is. Um, I would really appreciate it if you guys. Uh, please no mean comments. Uh, you know we're all you know please show some respect. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys can do that. Um, but uh, yeah, you know not a lot of people are you know um, comic fans. But uh, I used to read comics when I was younger, but now I stopped. But I kind of wish I could go back. But there's barely any time because you know once you get older life gets in the way you know all that stuff so like i said guys please comment below if you guys know about this character so yeah so you know i don't really know his powers or what he is but uh like i said if you guys need a gladiator figure this is the one to get and if you have the san diego comic con one and you don't then i guess this is the past so yeah so that's all i have to say guys so please comment subscribe Please give this video a big thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video. And this is Spidey1997 signing out and have a great day. Thanks for watching, guys.